Hi everybody. Uh, I recorded this video a couple of days ago, but in my brilliance of having a brand new set of headphones, um, I didn't realize the mute button was on, so the whole video was recorded with no sound. So I'm voicing over this, and uh, I hope that, that it comes up the way it should. I'm learning how to use a new program called Filmora. So what I did was pick uh, collage pieces or glue book pieces based on their color for the most part. I've been feeling very um, fall lately and to me these muted tones kind of, you know, end the summer and begin the fall, you know, at least for me. Um, I absolutely love how they go together and I'm almost done this particular um, collage book it's got like one more double spread I think to go and then I'll do a flip through so that you can see the whole book done I there's one in my videos if you're looking for a flip through of this one so far um, the the pictures that I chose have to do with um, a bit of an old old-fashioned feel like the telephone the way it is and some of the pictures the Chatelaine picture and things like that have an old feel but I chose them again for the color and uh, it's just a thing I choose by feel I guess you would call it so I'm laying down one edge of that big piece so that I can um, I can decide what I want to do with it, whether I want to tuck things under it or cut it, cut part of it off. And I decide I like where it is, so I glue the whole thing down. Um, there's been a change in the, the channel, and I haven't posted for a long time, but I'm hoping to be able to change that. Uh, Emerald Gypsy Arts has been changed to Crafts and Collage. To me, it more covers what this channel is about because although I do visual arts, drawing, painting, and so on, it isn't the mainstay of this channel. I do a lot of collage and glue books and so on and journaling, but and that seems to be the most popular of the videos. So um, I, I felt that it was maybe time for a change. Uh, and I enjoy all kinds of crafts, the word craft means creative stuff in general so or it's all co it covers everything and that way I just feel it has a more comfortable feel to me uh, and I do intend to post much more often because it's something I love doing so I'm just going to keep filming it as long as you folks keep watching it um, most of what will go on here is like collage and paper things and you know a, a lot of things like that I don't do a lot of on-camera drawing or painting or um, you know coloring really uh, on on cam I just when I finish a painting I'm happy to show it but uh, for me it just I don't know it's just really hard to paint in front of people or for people you know um, the pictures that I chose, uh, of course, there's some uh, spices and f and fruits and stuff. Uh, the old prints, whenever you have an opportunity to grab old newspapers, old books, old scraps of paper, people throw stuff out when they've unwrapped something out of an attic, smooth that paper out, you can even iron it actually, smooth it out and use it. Um, you know, put a little bit of a, a pale tint on it, make it look old, use your stamp pad. There are all kinds of ways to, to um, you know, make something look older. And old books from secondhand bookstores, um, one that I use is David Copperfield. It's like, I think, nearly a hundred years old, but it was, some of it was badly damaged, so it wasn't, you know, it couldn't be kept. But to use the pages in it is, is just wonderful I love doing that it's very fragile though it like breaks off so easily uh, one thing about the glue someone asked me what glue I used I generally use stick glue but keep in mind that stick glue can dry out and may eventually your pieces may fall out so depending on how long you want to keep it or if you want to pass it on to your great-grandchildren or whatever your plan is 
but if it's just for you, this is for my own enjoyment. Um, so I use stick glue. If I really want to keep something, I love using the Aileen sticky glue or tacky glue it's called, or the clear Elmer's glue, the bottles of clear Elmer's glue. Those things, using a card to spread them out, they're really, really good. Uh, also keep in mind that if you're a two-sided tape user, those can yellow and dry out and end up making a mark on the the picture that it's supposed to be holding in place, like these lines will show up through the picture you're wanting to to put in there. Um, so <coughs> keep that in mind, depending on what you're doing, you know. And you can use things like um, Mod Podge too. It's a glue, it's a, a, a covering, it's just, it's awesome. If you can find, anytime you find it on sale, even grab that because if it's even a little bit old and thicker you can still use it for so many things and it, it's just a great overall kind of thing to have on your shelf um, also wax paper that's another very simple hack always keep wax paper in your craft craft painting glue area because you can do anything on it and then just toss it out I tend to set mine aside and just keep folding them till there's no more pieces of unglued paper left but um so i i also have a video you can look back on uh, about my my quote box it's a box of slogans and sentences i cut out when i go looking through magazines and so on and that's where i get these sentences from that you saw me you know moving around on the page uh, it they're they're all cut out from magazine titles and subtitles and things like that. It's amazing what you can find that sort of fits in, not you know not the article it's with, but you know to things that you're making. So so keep a quotes box or a text box around. I've got a like a kind of a flat one with a clear lid, which is absolutely perfect because I can sort of shake it and look around at the different pieces of text that are saved in there. Uh, so that helps because oftentimes if I can't get a mood for doing some collage or some glue book, uh, I'll go through the text box and if something kind of smacks me in the face, I will take it out and, and oftentimes the collage page is built around that text without me even realizing it. And especially if you're really not in the mood, then keep a small size journal. Um, again, there's a video there of my small sized um, journal or notebook um, that I got at the dollar store and they're small pages like a, a quarter of what you see spread out here and it's wonderful. It's just big enough to get you, you know, get, get you doing something but it's small enough not to feel overwhelming in front of you and it can really help to pull out a piece of text to get going on one of those. So, um, and keep in mind the ripped edges, you know, if you like them, use them because they look awesome, at least to me. I love ripped edges on things. Uh, and I do feel like um, people are too careful with their pictures. Do you know what I mean? Um, it's wonderful to be precise if you're doing a a journal page or you're doing something where precision is necessary for it then go you I mean I have my my you know perfectionist moments but when you're feeling the need to create something or have fun with a journal page but you don't feel like you've got a lot of time or you're feeling kind of cranky or you want to do it and get it sort of over with while you're in the mood then um, tear the pieces put them in there enjoy the rough edges have it be part of the mood of your piece and uh, let yourself um, just have fun just tearing the pieces, the pictures, the bits of lettering, and so on. I built the page uh, from uh, I'm sorry, I'm building the page up from uh, two sort of 
bare pages in that magazine that I'm using that I'm almost finished with. I'm covering up some some uh, paint on the one side. It's a dark blue, so uh, I'm glad that that's actually um, not showing through any of my pictures. I appreciate I appreciate the fact that I didn't even think to cover it with white paint first. Um, this process is so relaxing to me. Collage is so relaxing now um, I've been asked often and I've talked about this before what's the difference between say collage decoupage and glue books um, basically uh, decoupage is is putting pictures over something like uh, you know a blank box or something you decoupage over something you give it a different finish uh, collage is you can it's it's glue it's um it's whatever you want it's a multimedia type of picture pulling things together which what what is collage, what collage means is pulling many things together and you can use paints or washi tapes or ink pens or drawing pens or colored pencils or pictures or anything on a collage that motivates you a glue book is basically that. It's pages like you're looking at now that are glued in. I won't be doing anything else with the page as far as highlighting or changing anything. Um, I'll simply finish the page and I'm really like I really like the way it came together. I, I enjoy um, I know for some it's a lot of beige and it there it has a tendency to blend here and there but for some reason I was just in that mood you know and so uh, nothing else will go on that page but paper and glue so that to me is a glue book page now there are a couple of pages in this uh, book that are colored pencil there's some paint in there and so on so it's basically a collage book and it's got glue book pages because it's just just pictures being glued in but that's some of my favorite activity. It can be extremely relaxing, meditative. You feel like you've created something because you look at it and, you know, most of the time we kind of like what we're, what we're creating, you know. Uh, I like leaving the, the sort of wild edges on the paper, but there's a little bit too much on this one, so I end up uh, trimming off some of it. There, I have a couple of books where I just leave them and it feels so wonderful and visceral. It's amazing. So uh, I have a couple of spots that I need to, I need to fill in. Um, but basically, I'll get it done and I'll show you on the next one um, how it's finished. I will be doing um, a march through of this book as soon as I'm done with it. Take care, everybody, and come back soon.